Well, it's a new exhibit of Jurassic proportions at the Oregon <laughs> Museum of Science and Industry. Yeah, that's exactly right. And our own Cor Harlan is at OMSI right now to tell us about the new Tyrannosaurus Meet the Family exhibit right now. Cor, what are we seeing? Here down at OMSI this morning, new exhibit opened over the weekend, uh, and this got a lot of interactive and a lot of cool things. You know, tyrannosaurs did roam North America as little as 20 million years ago, and there's a light sensor in here that has some of these things. I think I have to run through here again. There they come, right there, Tim. There they go. So you walk through here. This is the first thing you see when you walk through the exhibit. Here is the backdrop of uh, downtown Portland with tyrannosaurs running through here, and as you can see, they are all different shapes and sizes. Some of them bigger some of them smaller, uh, but as uh, kind of Tim walks you through here, you can kind of get a glimpse of what it might have been like if today were 20 million years ago and tyrannosaurs were walking uh, North America. I want to introduce you to Zoe, who is one of the science educators here at OMSI. How are you? Doing great, this doing is great. Cool. Yeah, thanks let's for being not, here. Let's not, uh, <laughs> let's not overlook the star of the show. This is Scotty. Would you please Tell me a little bit, and we can get over here yeah, a little yeah. closer. Tell me a little bit more about Scotty. Yeah, Scotty's kind of like the star of the show of this yeah, exhibit. Yeah. This is a Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, cast skeleton. So it is not the real one. The real one would be much too heavy to travel uh -huh. all the way uh -huh. here. But this is a replica of the largest T-Rex to ever have been found. Uh, he was this found, was found in Canada, right? This was found in Canada, yeah, yeah, so in North America, and it was found in 1991. It took two decades to fully excavate, so it's really exciting to have a replica here at OMSI. What I think it really amazes me about these exhibits like this is the fact that you come up here and you look at it, and it has a real majesty about it, and if it were alive and if it lived up to its reputation, it, would have really scared the bejeevers out of a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Just walking oh, around yeah. here. This was the apex predator here yes. in its day, right? Yeah, nobody was as big as this one. We still haven't even found a tooth of a land animal this big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The indication says it showed signs of a hard life. Scotty was 30 years old when he died. I think the reader board here says 30 years old when he died. He had evidence of a hard life, broken ribs, an infected jaw, perhaps even a bite on his tail from another T-Rex. So there was... There was other people trying to be competitors as well, correct? Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. We also have some other tyrannosaurs here in the exhibit upstairs that also showed some evidence of potential predation or cannibalism. Yeah. It's wild, yeah. wild, tough life. That's a little bit early for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they were all sh different shapes and sizes. So the, the mm -hmm. T-Rex that everybody recognizes as the big uh, apex predator walking around the face of the earth. There were a lot of l smaller ones, different size yeah, ones. Yeah, well, yeah. Right? So this guy actually had at least 13 other uh, relatives, probably more like 25. And wow. in this exhibit, we talk all about them. It's cool. It's a great exhibit. Opened over the weekend at OMSI. It'll go here for the foreseeable Woo! future. More from uh, Tyrannosaurs. Meet the family coming up here from OMSI in a short time. We'll show you some of the other, some of Scotty's relatives, some of Scotty's smaller relatives that uh -huh. may not have been the apex predator that Scotty was, but he is impressive to check out. He is impressive. Very talkative <laughs> this morning, too. Yeah, he is. Yeah, down, Scotty. Scotty has a lot to say. <laughs> That's pretty great. I love that. Thanks, Everybody Laura. have a favorite dinosaur growing up? Were we all dinosaur nerds? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think my favorite several. was a triceratops. Mm, that's pretty I good like, one. I um, like the pterodactyls. Oh, wow, Ooh, look at you. What was Littlefoot, like the long neck? <laughs> From Land Before Time? The, bron bron the, bron the bron bron bronchiosaurus? Yeah, uh, bronchiosaurus? Yes. Bronchiosaurus? Long neck Brachiosaurus. I don't know if he's... <laughs> I don't Very know gentle. if he's a specific yeah. type of dinosaur. Or <laughs> a, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. I always love that. No raptors? I don't remember the how you say it right, but it's like an ankylous or the ones that are they're like armored and they're oh, super low oh, to the ground. Yeah. I was like, nobody's able to mess with them. <laughs> but, uh, cool. I always thought they were cool. I had little plastic figurines oh, yeah. all over the floor. Mom and dad probably stepped on them <laughs> so many times. Jurassic Park. Yeah. yeah. Know, growing up with that movie. So. Yeah. So, so <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's take a look outside. I know you're looking at the mountain. Maybe not many dinosaurs, but no. the snowpack has improved the last couple of days. Yes, it's been really nice to see that snow falling up there and uh, really stacking up.